Good morning, Classified Collectors. Anthony here from Phoenix Rising Creation, and today we have another Classified Figure Review. That's right, today we're doing number 70, Shipwreck. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into his accessories and do a close-up look of Shipwreck. Let's start off that instead of giving him a separate head, they gave us hair. Hair for days. This is definitely not military regulation hair, but it is nicely sculpted. And you can see he's got some very nice flowing hair there. And his Dixie cup cover comes off and you put this on. And I'll show you all what he looks like with the hair on here in a little bit. The next thing is the grappling hook that did come with him back in the three and three inch quarter line. This is nicely sculpted and the silver art deco is really cool the only thing that they fell short on is there's no rope attached to it typically for how he's dressed this would be the service pistol that they would have issued back then last but not least we have his faithful parrot polly i think that if Hasbro threw in like maybe an accessory that was uh, a box of crackers would have been really dope to go with this. The overall sculpting and coloration on Polly is really nice. I really like it. So let's take a closer look at Shipwreck. And you can see right here, there is a coloration difference in the upper thigh to the rest of the pants. The tattoos on his forearms, very nicely done. I really like that. You've got some sort of a fish on that side. And then on this side, you have the anchor and rope. I also like the art deco that they did on the shoulders. Now, as far as his belt, this is a little warped and it kind of blocks his belt buckle that's there. And I think they're reusing the trouser, upper trousers from multiple figures to do this because that does not look like it's a new sculpt. Now we move on down to his face sculpt. I've seen some people saying that they're not happy with the way it came out. This honestly is one of the best head sculpts that Hasbro has given us on a figure. I could go down the list of the worst and the best, but I'm not going to. We'll save that for another video somewhere down the road. Now, I did say I was going to show you and the difference with his Dixie cup off and the hair on. So now you've got supermodel shipwreck with all that hair. I think he looks really good with either this on or the hair. Overall, I like this figure. This is really cool. Let's put some accessories on him and I'll give you a 360 look of Shipwreck. There you guys have it. One thing I did forget to mention is with Shipwreck, they did the same thing with him that they did with Spirit. They did put a hole in the wrist where Polly's peg leg can go in. So you can pose him on Shipwreck's forearm and on the rope up where it's bundled up to be secured there is a hole there so when you put the rope over his shoulder you can also put Polly up on the shoulder and I believe I might have the rope going uh, over the wrong shoulder but that's okay overall like I said I love this figure it's amazing there's nostalgia in it and if you guys look as he's spinning around that hand cannon of a double barreled Flintlock in that holster looks amazing. If you guys like the action figure reviews that I'm bringing to you, please remember, click that like, share, and subscribe button. Smash that notification bell so you know when a new action figure review is coming out. And until the next video, stay safe, be kind, and keep on collecting. And we don't know if Polly will make it to another video review. Shipwreck looks like he's about to keelhaul her. But... See you all in the next video.